This is what's called the green zone in the WHO Ebola clinic. Uh, it's only been open for about a week. They're incredibly busy. These people here who are in their uh, protection equipment have just come from the red zone. That means they've come from dealing with Ebola patients who are actively sick, who are vomiting, who have diarrhea. They're coming, you see them with pieces of paper, they're coming to report the state of what they see, who's died, who's stable, who's critical. And then they shed this equipment. It's a really long process. It takes about half an hour. And if you move over here, what happens, this incinerator here uh, burns the aprons and, and, and the pieces of equipment that can't possibly be salvaged. But there is a lot that can legitimately be disinfected. So that's why you see the lineup of gloves here on the fence. See all the goggles and that sort of lineup of, looks like a statue of boots over there. All of this equipment can be disinfected safely. It can be saved, it can be reused. And then there are washing machines over here to wash some of the personal clothes of the healthcare workers. So it's only been up and running for about a week. They feel like this is a pretty safe procedure and that in some ways workers are safer being here with all this equipment than they would be in the clinic where they have absolutely nothing.